Kyle is my best friend. We're not just husband and wife, like he's my best friend. But I spend so much time in my head worrying about getting stuff done that when I have moments with him, like I can't even be present and just like enjoying eating breakfast with him because I'm so busy trying to get it done. <laughs> Focus on the step in front of you instead of the whole staircase. That's been my favorite quote lately because it reminds me to face my biggest struggle, which I really love avoiding. And my biggest struggle is doing one thing at a time. So I'm making this video because I'm really struggling with that today. And it's not just a today struggle. This has been a struggle that I've been dealing with my entire life, like as long as I can remember. As I've been looking at it lately, I realize like it's connected to my childhood trauma. It goes back from when I was very, very little and it's affecting all areas of my life. So as I've been looking at it and realizing that, I started like looking back at the different places that it shows up in my life and it literally shows up everywhere. Trauma wise, when I was little, my parents divorced when I was one and a half. I was so young, like I don't remember. What I do remember is bouncing from house to house. Like my mom and I lived together in an apartment and my dad mostly lived at my Nona's house, but then he also was always dating different women. So I'd be bouncing around from like my mom and I's apartment to my Nona's house to the current girlfriend that my dad was living with. And I got used to bouncing around, well, you know, when I was little. And then when I was four, my mom got remarried. And so we, we moved from me and my mom from our apartment and we moved in with my stepdad. And I had never been three before. I was used to just me and my mom, not me, my mom, and someone else. And I love my stepdad, but it was a bit of an adjustment. And so leaving a place where I felt kind of was like my steady, safe place, because with my dad, I was bouncing around more. It, I needed to adjust, but I was four when we did that. And so, it took a little bit longer for a four-year-old to adjust to that. But while that was happening, my dad, he wasn't very reliable. He was, he would say he was gonna come and get me and then he would either show up really late or he wouldn't show up at all. And that happened a lot. And then one day he just stopped coming. And I was 10 when that happened, when he just left my life for good. At my mom's house, the, um, there was a lot of regimented structure in the form of like chores and multitasking and things like that. And I think what happened is I kind of zoned in on that and I thought if I can be the best multitasker and the best like finisher of chores and, and tasks, maybe my dad won't leave, meaning people will love me, I'll get love, I'll stop people from leaving me in my life because I'll be good enough. And so I became, even at you know four years old, I became the best multitasker and finisher of tasks that anybody had ever seen. But what it did was it went in all areas of life. As a little girl, I started remembering like I loved to read, at, but at four years old, I couldn't just sit down and enjoy one book. I had to take my entire collection and read it all in one day, like in one sitting, because I thought, well, if I'm a really good reader, if I'm a really good little girl, maybe people will stop leaving. Maybe I'll be loved better. Maybe I'll be good enough. And it didn't just stop there. It went into, you know, as I got older, it started going into eating and to this day, like I just finished eating lunch before filming this video and every meal I have to say to myself, like all I wanna do is finish something. It's like um, I have to finish one task to get to the next because maybe I'll have better love, I'll get approval. So I had to, as I'm eating cucumbers, I'm like shoving one in and I'm like chewing the entire thing. I'm like, slow down. Every time I eat a meal, Every day, 
since I was little. I have to walk myself through it and talk myself through it. You're allowed to chew your food, Nicole. Enjoy the meal. Don't rush through it. This is not a task that you get done. You're allowed to chew and enjoy the food and sit there and enjoy just, you know, eating a meal. You don't have to finish it to get to the next task. And that happened in high school too. I would get an assignment and I'd get a month to do it but I would literally finish my assignments the day that they were assigned. I wouldn't even let myself process what the assignment was. I had to get it done because I thought if I can be the first one to get it done and hand it in, maybe my teacher will say, wow, you're, you're really good. Good job, Nicole. You know, maybe then again, my dad won't leave. People won't leave my life always trying to stop people from not loving me, thinking that I could get love and approval from getting my tasks done, being a multitasker. My whole life, everyone around me knew me as like, wow, she gets stuff done, she's the multitasker. And I so prided myself on that, but all it did was run into areas in my life where it was actually starting to like hurt me. So like sleep wise, I can't just sleep. I have to think all night long and toss and turn because I don't allow myself to sleep properly. I can't just sit and eat a meal. When it's time to rest, I can't just rest. I am thinking constantly. So like watching a movie, I have this head stuff talking. Oh, you better finish that movie, Nicole, because you got to get your chores done. you got to do this. you got to do that. And it gets to the point where like, when I did those assignments, yeah, I was the first one done. And I did get some approval from my teachers like, wow, you're really fast at this. You, you done already? But when I would get the grade, it would be just an average grade. So, so I spend my whole life just getting an average grade. Why? Because Sassy Kyle, he explains it so good. He's like, I finish the assignment before I even understand what it is because I panic so much, like I'm looking for approval so much that I don't even let myself finish reading something or actually figure out what it is that I'm trying to do before I do it. I just want to get it done so that I can, you know, get somebody to go, good job, Nicole. Instead of looking at myself and going, hey, I can actually give myself approval here. I don't need others to give me love. I can actually give it to myself. And now that I'm starting to look at that, I'm realizing like I'm trying to slow myself down when I'm eating. I'm like, yes, you're right. I'm allowed to enjoy this. Slow down. Give my body time to even figure out I'm eating so that I feel full. And um, that was one of the biggest problems. Like before, like I've lost 130 pounds and I've kept it off for eight years. But one of my biggest problems was I would eat so fast, my brain wouldn't even be able to figure out that I had eaten. So I would already be eating more and I wouldn't register that I was full until I was overstuffed because I never gave my body a chance to even figure out that it had eaten. And then that goes into all the areas of my life to where I'm not giving my all in every task. I'm just trying to get it done so that I can get the relief that anxiety that was always hanging over my head. Like if you have stuff that you haven't finished, you're not going to get love and approval. People aren't going to like you. They're going to call you lazy. And it kind of just like always is there. Like my head's always putting me down and I'm always being negative to myself and not really giving myself time to enjoy life. And so even like dishes. I Yesterday, I really made a goal with myself, like, I'm actually going to dry this and really be here when I'm drying it. And that sounds silly, but it was really difficult for me to just dry a dish because normally I am finishing drying one dish, picking up the next one to dry that one because I have to get it done. And that's what I do. Like, I, I have to take two socks off at the same time. I can't even do one at a time. I have to pull both shoes off. It's like, this might sound really silly, but I'm always trying to get stuff done for approval. It was like, I can't even take off one sock at a time because I've kind of like carried on that trauma as a kid and I attached it to getting love if I can just get things done all the time, so. 
I'm really looking at that because I, I don't want to do this to myself anymore where I feel so bad and I'm like rushing myself through life. What's happening is I'm multitasking life and I don't want to multitask life anymore. I, you know, often like sassy, Kyle is my best friend. We're not just husband and wife, like he's my best friend, but I spend so much time in my head worrying about getting stuff done that when I have moments with him, like I can't even be present and just like enjoying eating breakfast with him because I'm so busy trying to get it done so that I can get love and approval from everyone. And I don't want to do that. I want to spend every moment presently with him, but also with myself. I can't be with myself because my head just runs all the time. I can't just be quiet with myself. And so I've been trying in little things, like for example, eating cucumbers for lunch today. Bite one, chew it, take another bite. It sounds silly, but that's very difficult for me and that's a small little thing that I can do. And then drying a dish, dry one, put it away, get another one and dry little things like that. Put one sock on at a time. And I know as I do those and I can do them more consistently that it will start going into all areas of my life too where I'll be able to really enjoy all the moments instead of rushing through them. And I wanted to make this video and share it with you guys because this is, this is a very current struggle for me. Um, I literally struggle with it, you know, just five minutes before I came on camera, like I said, eating lunch, but it's also been a lifelong struggle. And I know I'm not the only one that struggles with this. So I just, I wanted to come on camera and say, you are worth it to really enjoy your life, not multitask your life. You're worth it to do one thing at a time. And that's why I love that focus on one, on the stair in front of you instead of the whole staircase. Because, you know, my weight loss journey literally was one small step at a time. And that's how I have to live my life so that I can stop the multitasking thing too. The stair in front of me, that means whatever it is, one sock at a time, one dish at a time, dry your hair, then do the next task, whatever it is. Um, you're worth it to do one thing at a time, one small step at a time. You don't need to rush life. Life is short, so you need to enjoy the moment, whatever it is. If it's you know a mundane daily task or if it's some spending time with your children or your spouse, you're allowed to enjoy your food. I know a lot of people have the same struggle as me where they rush through and they don't chew their food properly. You know, I do that. They don't eat presently, that's me. So you're not alone and you can do this. Start with something very small that you know you can do consistently like I'm doing, you know, one sock at a time and just keep going. And eventually that'll be, you know, if you're struggling to lose weight, if you pick one small thing to start with there, Focus on the stair in front of you, whatever that is, instead of the whole staircase. Can you drink one extra bottle of water? Can you eat one less serving of dinner? That's the stair in front of you. One small thing at a time, and it'll start going into all areas of your life just like it's happening for me. Still a constant struggle, but I'm loving myself enough now to go, okay, I I'm struggling, but I can do this. What can I do right now one thing at a time? And I just, you know, I might fall off and I realize, oh my gosh, I've got five things going on right now. Okay, which one is more important? Let's do this, then we'll go to the next thing. And um, it's a constant putting myself back on task, but I'm, I'm doing it. And I know you can too. You are worth it to live life one moment at a time and really enjoy it. You're allowed to enjoy your life. And that's why I always say weight loss is not a punishment. Well, life's not a punishment either. You're allowed to love this. Every moment, just drink it in one thing at a time. Even I'm starting to love doing those little tasks because I'm letting myself be there. Washing a dish. I've never washed a dish presently in my life until yesterday. And I was so proud of myself. 
So one thing at a time, the friends, I hope that this video really helps anybody struggling out there. And um, I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna keep doing it one thing at a time. And um, I hope it inspires you to do the same. If you wanna know exactly what it ate to lose the weight, I have weight loss eBooks. The links are down below. Code Nicole will save you 10%. I also have Hoodult, HTLT Sups, best protein powder and supplements ever. Code Nicole will save you 10%. They have fruit cereal, which is super good, and I'm a cereal girl. Lucky or Marshmallow they also have, and that's my favorite flavor. Code Nicole will save you 10%. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your love and support. Like, Sassy and I really appreciate all the support you've given us and that you continue to give us. Don't forget to check out this vid and this vid because I'm offering always sustainable weight loss tips, real world weight loss for real friends doing it in the real world. And it's not just about the food. It's about these things too. It goes deeper than that. I have to still work on the deeper stuff in order to keep the weight off for as long as I have. I have to go under the surface of just diet and exercise and that's why I give you you know, the videos about diet and exercise and stuff, but I also give you the deeper stuff like this because it all ties into the same thing. So thanks so much for watching. Check out those vids and I'll catch you in the next vid, cute Rooney, because we are just loving it. <laughs> thanks. Peace. Love ya. Catch ya. See ya. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.